Hi, I'm Kara from Karen Co Creative. And if you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. Today, I have a quick tutorial showing you how to connect ConvertKit to WooCommerce. So I'll take you over my shoulder. So first what you need to do is install the ConvertKit for WooCommerce plugin. To do that, come to your plugins tab. Add new. Search for, I'll put in ConvertKit, maybe come up faster. Okay, so ConvertKit for WooCommerce, that's when we want to install. Then go ahead and activate it. All right, so easiest thing to do, then go back to plugins, find the plugin right here, ConvertKit through WooCommerce, go to settings, and now we'll have to connect it to your ConvertKit account. First step, enable the integration, and it will ask for these API keys. If you come over to your ConvertKit dashboard, these are under settings. So click on your account name up in the top right, and then settings, and then API keys under advanced over here very bottom. And this is where you'll grab your API keys. I'm going to pause for a minute so that you don't see the API key and the secret API key, but they are right here. So you'll just copy and paste these and pop them into WooCommerce. All right. So the API keys are in there above here. I've now scrolled down. So order subscribe event. Um, I typically like to do this when the order is completed. Um, if it's a digital product, if it's something that you are shipping, then order processing is fine. I don't typically want to subscribe somebody when it's still pending payment. All right. Subscription, fine. Billing's first name. So these are all just the settings here. Uh, technically this is a best practice to have them opt in at checkout, send purchase data to convert kit. Um, this is important if you need to send emails based on a purchase. Um, so this way they can do this without being subscribed to a list. All right. All right, so we'll save all those changes. And now basically you're all set. WooCommerce and ConvertKit will now talk when orders are processed. Um, and you can get back to this anytime from the integration, I believe. Not integration, emails? Oh, sorry, it was integration. My bad. You can get back here to these settings, integration, ConvertKit, otherwise the ConvertKit and settings. All right. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel for future updates.